This video I'll be making laughing gas, which is mainly used as an anesthetic during surgery and as a recreational drug for stupid teens and Soviet huffers to get high off. Its more specialized uses include but are not limited to rocketry, combustion engines and the thing which squeezes the whipped cream from the can. I really don't know what it's called, please don't judge me. When it comes to recreational use, I don't recommend it. There are two ways to make it nitrous, one is pretty dangerous and the other is really safe. The first way is to get a bunch of ammonium nitrate heat it and it will slowly release nitrous oxide. I however don't really like hidden ammonium nitrate, mostly because of how in some weird cases it can be explosive. And I truly don't want to base getting shot by glass shrapnel on a toss of a coin. For example the giant explosion in Beirut was caused by ammonium nitrate, where a fire triggered a detonation of almost 3000 tons of ammonium nitrate and created a giant shockwave. <laughs> So yeah, ammonium nitrate, me and my homies the who really don't like that. Anyway, what I went with is a really nice way of generating nitrous oxide, and that's by adding sodium nitrite to hydroxylamine. So let's get down to business. So first step, be careful with 100 ml, I've added a random amount of hydroxylamine hydrochloride. After stirring, I've added some of that solution into a vacuum flask. After securing it with a stand, I've stoppered the top and pushed it to the side. To an another beaker, I've started adding a bunch of sodium nitrite. After stirring it, it's time to combine the two. So to start, I added some of the nitrite solution and quickly stoppered it off. Well, at that time I was pretty freaking confused. Mostly because nothing was really happening. But after a while, finally some bubbles started forming and that was the laughing gas. Hey you, yeah you, Prussian Blue is coming to Discord. You, you should join my Discord server now. now! I was actually quite surprised by the fact that it has some delayed fuse or something. Because laughing gas is heavier than air, it will slowly accumulate in the beaker. So anyway, here's me lighting a long match and see how it starts burning brighter and faster. This proves that there's an oxidizer and unless the mainframe of the matrix glitched, it was probably the nitrous oxide doing its thing. Basically what's happening here is the heat of the match is destroying the nitrous oxide molecule into nitrogen and oxygen. As we all know, oxygen is pretty much the perfect oxidizer. Well, oxidizer oxygen, you, you get the thing. <laughs> and that's why the match started burning pretty intensely. To prove that the gas is being generated, I've put it in some water. The bubbles indicate water generation. I've also discovered that you can shake the thing to increase nitrous production and it just looks really funny to say the least. Oh, oh, oh. Can you see this? Can you see this? Maximum oxidizing power. Bro, I'm right now so hard shaking it right now. I think that I've spilled some water right now. <laughs> I accidentally. Anyway, this is how you can make nitrous oxide and have fun with it. However, it is quite a short video. Very sad. Subscribe!